Hey everyone, my name is Sanji Jurawala and today I'm going to be talking to you about my experience this summer with FedEx at their Singapore office. So to start off, I'm going to give an overview about FedEx. FedEx is a packaging and shipping company. They are focused on uh, delivering goods that consumers order online directly to their doorstep. They have three major areas of focus, which are transportation solutions, e-commerce solutions, and business services. Now, what's really important to understand, and I definitely learned this so far in my internship, is that FedEx is more than just a packaging-focused company. They solve problems related to global commerce, and this is through a variety of different services, such as FedEx Ground, FedEx Logistics, FedEx Freight, and much more. All of this forms a portfolio of solutions, and they all work together to deliver the best possible value to the consumer. Now, as you can see on the next slide, this is how FedEx is really broken down. The FedEx Corporation is at the very top and serves as an, as an umbrella to six major divisions. For me, I am working in the FedEx Express division, but we still do communicate with the other divisions on a frequent basis. This is the specific division that I have within FedEx Express. I am in the IT division there and I work under Robin Lozy, who is the Managing Director of IT Operations Solutions. I also work alongside Raj Kumar, David Kumar, who is a Manager in Information Technology. Now, in terms of organization size, FedEx is a very big company. It serves over 220 countries worldwide. It has over 450,000 employees. And believe it or not, it ships over 15 million packages each business day. This comes to show that FedEx is a very large company that serves a very uh, they have a large global presence in the shipping and e-commerce industry. And their headquarters is in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, focusing on my role and responsibilities as an intern. I am a data analyst intern at FedEx and my major responsibility is implementing this agile methodology with all the developer teams at FedEx. Um, right now they have already they're, they've already tried and implemented it but there are some issues with um, the guidelines that teams are following. So what I've been doing so far in my first four weeks is cleaning up the data where um, developer teams have made mistakes and creating guidelines for them to follow to, in order to mitigate future issues along the way. And now what Agile it really is, it's a teamwork mechanism that focuses on how teams should operate. It structures tasks in an efficient way and allows for um, products to get out to the market much faster from a technological perspective. And the way that we are doing this is through a system or framework known as Scaled Agile. And Scaled Agile is implemented by 70% of Fortune 500 companies. And it's so popular because it has large increases in productivity much more improvements in quality, faster time to market, and it increases employee engagement and job satisfaction because it's just more organized and structured. And um, by the end of my time here in, uh, with my internship, the goal is to help implement this scaled agile framework to all scrum teams in the Asia Pacific region. And a scrum, uh, scrum is basically a framework for getting work done and it's this idea of continuously shipping value to customers. And um, this mindset is very new and it's, it's on the rise because it allows teams to work bits and pieces towards a final goal rather than just working in big chunks. And then, you know, what if you realize that there's a major issue down the road and then you have to backtrack your way and that's just a waste of time. So this allows you to constantly just work in bits and pieces and ensure that every little uh, piece towards the final project is completed to the best of its ability. Now, in terms of FedEx's mission, it can really be summed up by this quote at the top. And this really just comes to show um, that FedEx is really dedicated to the customer. And this quote really summarizes FedEx's purple promise. And they, the purple promise has guided everything that is done at FedEx and is well known by all employees worldwide. The purple promise sets the bar for service excellence and it really differentiates FedEx on the market because it earns the trust and loyalty of customers and makes FedEx a fun environment to work in. Now, moving on to the office specifically in Singapore, the way people work together, it's really broken down based on how the office is situated. And the office is broken into specific sections. So one area of the office will be dedicated specifically to the IT department, while another area will be focused on business services. And then there's a whole other floor for all the developer teams. And so basically, if you were uh, had a similar job as someone else, you would most likely be in the same area as them. In addition to um, that, there are meetings that are held on a weekly basis um, that uh, where people are often um, in a conference room collaborating and sharing ideas towards um, big projects that are going on throughout the summer.
And lastly, um, the major way people work together is through collaboration with applications such as Teams and SharePoint. Teams is a messaging platform very similar to Slack, which allows um, people from different uh, um, departments to communicate with each other and share files. And SharePoint is um, basically like your Google Sheets, your Google Docs. It allows you to allows people to work on Microsoft um, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. It allows them to work on those documents simultaneously by multiple people. Now, in terms of what motivates people at FedEx to do more, I interviewed two people um, who have been at who have been at FedEx. One since 1994, and one who just joined two months ago. So the one from 1994 really said that what really um, motivates him to do more is to drive for continuous learning. He's out there trying to find the best solution and challenge what people think is impossible. And when he hears, whenever he hears that something is not possible, when he um, when he's told that that would be too difficult, he is focused on learning and finding a way to solve that issue. In addition, he's also um, very interested in learning what the interns have in terms of knowledge. He's always constantly approached myself as well as other interns trying to gain knowledge about our experiences, about the knowledge we know in certain programming applications so that he can apply to his own work. Um, now, the other person I interviewed, Raj, he uh, really said that visually seeing the operations, uh, the ability to go um, to Changi Airport and see how um, his work at the office is contributing to the customs and clearance offices at the airport, that really motivated him to do his work because he got to see the end vision, see what his work is going towards. And that really motivated him a lot. And I believe that these two things really apply to all employees at um, the FedEx office in Singapore. So in terms of teamwork at FedEx, it is definitely utilized very heavily because meetings are held on a regular basis. Um, Teams is really big um, in the developer realm. Like I said earlier, this agile methodology really revolves around teamwork. And in terms of agile, there are a lot of rules guiding this teamwork process. But I think the major rule is this idea of working in sprints and product iterations. Sprints are these two week periods where uh, teams meet prior um, to the two weeks to plan out what they're going to get done and who's going to be responsible for what. And then during the sprint, they're fully focused on getting those uh, different tasks done. And then come at the end of the two weeks, they come and put it together. And if it's all good, they will move on to the next sprint and um, carry on with the future tasks. If there are things that don't get done, they will carry it over to the next sprint. Um, there are about five sprints in one product iteration. So basically a product iteration lasts 10 weeks. So it's really, this, whole, um, this whole rule around this agile methodology really allows there to be a fast environment where they're constantly releasing things, constantly um, finishing bits and pieces and working towards the uh, final project at hand. Um, in terms of the FedEx culture, it's definitely something that um, I've never been um, accustomed to in the sense that there's very little interaction on a social basis. A lot of people just, uh, you know, come to the office, work in their cubicle independently, and then, you know, they'll go attend a meeting here and there and then come back to their cubicle. There's not really a lot of, like, you know, um, talking and, like, getting to know people. And that's something that's been different for me. That's something that I've never experienced before. It's a very independent mindset focus. So it's definitely something that I had to adapt to. Um, and it has definitely been different from my past experiences because just for example, my internship last summer, I was able to um, talk with my coworkers on a regular basis, joke around, have a good time, but also work hard at the same time. Um, right here at, the, um, at FedEx, it seems like it's a very work hard, play hard sort of mentality. And um, it definitely took some time to adapt to, but um, I think um, I've definitely appreciated it, to, especially after seeing all the work we've completed so far. Now, in terms of the FedEx values, FedEx has four major values. The first one is learning. And learning really focuses on um, the FedEx, FedEx's desire to constantly explore new ways to add value. They want to be agile and innovative. The second one is caring. And that really focuses on how FedEx um, emphasizes that everyone respects and supports each other. They work effectively together to nurture and build trust and loyalty amongst all employees. The next one is order, and that focuses on making sure that everything is very structured and that work is completed on a consistent basis um, and constantly adapting and improving over time as well as whenever necessary. And lastly, results. And it really shows that FedEx is really driven to achieve great results in the right way. And um, they strive to just, they strive for success and ever improving capabilities. Now, in addition to the four values, they also have 
um, quality driven management. And this really revolves around the idea that yes, while they um, ship about 15 million packages every single day, there are always ways to constantly improve. So this quality driven management principle is always implemented uh, with the four values and works under the purple promise to always look for ways to be innovative and creative to differentiate the company in the market. Now lastly, in terms of the highest quality of human capital, FedEx really does a good job in delivering the best value based on two certain areas. One is that they're very organized. They have everything is very structured and understandable from every and everyone's very well aware of what's going on. And secondly, there are a lot of trainings. Every week this summer, there's always been some sort of training that a lot of employees are invited to, especially with this new agile methodology that's trying to be adapted. And um, all these trainings allow people to learn and uh, gain new skills that they can apply to their own work. And I believe that these two actions that FedEx um, does creates a vision filled with innovation and growth and shows that the success of, um, or sorry, that shows that the future of FedEx is very bright. Thank you, and here are my works cited.